friends, this is your KVIKX News Bulletin from Monday, November 18, 2024. My name is Mai and I'm Van. The peers today are 2, stars, 4, and 6. Today at Hilo High School, Class of 2025 graduates in song voting. Attention Class of 2025, today during stars, you will be at the auditorium for your graduates in class song, listening, and voting session. This is your chance to choose the song that will represent the class of 2025, Jack Wires. Make this an unforgettable moment, so be there to listen and cast your vote. National Honor Society meeting. Hey, National Honor Society members, there will be a meeting due today during lunch in Mrs. Masayama's room, BB102. Make sure to be there because you'll be doing this month's project. And just a reminder, please let Mrs. Masayama or Lindsay no, if you cannot make it. Thank you. See you there. What's new Vikings? Hawaiian club meeting. Aloha i Hui Hawaii. Attention all Hawaiian club members. There will be a club meeting tomorrow, November 19, during lunch. Please grab your lunch early and come to K101 Kumuawa class. We will be distributing your fundraiser ticket and talk about upcoming event. We will see you there. Aloha. FCA meeting. There's a FTA meeting on Thursday, November 21 at the pool during lunch. Bring a friend and grab some pizza along with learning and spreading the word of God. You do not have to be a Christian or an athlete to attend these meetings. Stay blessed. Thank you. Senior at Reminders. Attention senior. This is a reminder that you, if you purchase a senior ad in the yearbook, your ad is due on December 20, 2024. If you have any questions, please email Miss Blair at jessica.blair at k12.hi.us. Mahalo! In case you missed it, Vikings. Leo Club Meeting. Attention all Leo Club members. Three new projects were posted in Google Classroom. Please fill out the Google form for each of the projects. Some of you still ain't doing the form, so Miss D doesn't know if you can attend or not. As a reminder, you should be participating at least two projects per quarter. Again, all Leo Club members, please fill out the three Google form in Google Classroom. Thank you. Christmas Corners. This the season, Vikings. If you picked up a packet to participate in the Christmas Corners, this is a reminder that all packets are due by Wednesday, November 20th during lunch. k Vice will be back after this messages. But first, here's this week Rago. It's time to raggle. That's right, R-A-G-L, which stands for Read Anything Good Lately? When you read something awesome, you want to read more. Here's today's raggle recommendation. Hey, how's it everybody? I'm Miss Iona, English teacher with the Academy of Construction and Engineering. Something good I've read lately is a book called Cabinet of Curiosities by Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child. This is the second time I've read this book. I had to read it again because the plot was so thrilling that it kept me in suspense for the whole book. The characters are a bit odd. You have Aloysius, who is a mysterious character with a dark edge. He's often described as being aloof and eccentric, but he can also be charming and dangerous. Oh yeah, he's a billionaire. And you have Constant Green, who was born around 1876 and was adopted by Pendergast's uncle, who is kind of a mad scientist. Lang experimented on Constance with life-extending potions, causing her to age very slowly and retain a depth of knowledge. That's why she's still alive today. She also has a dark side and you do not want to mess with her. The storyline is mysterious and grotesque and so intriguing all at the same time. Oh, and it's a series so you can read more books about Aloysius solving odd and macabre crimes. So much fun. If you like suspenseful, thrilling mysteries with odd but enjoyable characters, this book is for you. And if you've read anything good lately, give it a shout out and share it right here on K-Bikes. You can become a Raggle TV host too. Just contact Miss Crowell or your English teacher. And remember, Raggle is about the joy of reading for fun. Aloha Vikings, it's me, Mrs. Ely. I wanted to take this opportunity to remind you of the attendance policy. 
Our attendance policy states that all students are responsible to attend classes daily and on time. Students who accumulate more than five tardies and or absences for a class and or period within a semester will be required to make up their time at the STAR attendance program. This means for every absence and or tardy after five in a class and or period, you are required to make up one hour in the STAR attendance program. The program is where you go to make up your hours. There are limited days and times to make up missed and or late attendance. Here are the STAR attendance program dates and times. The program will be held in the cafeteria on these scheduled days and times. The flyer with the dates and times will be posted in all classrooms. If you are referred to the STAR attendance program, you are required to bring your school ID, driver's license, or permit to be allowed in. No ID means no entrance. Arrive on time. A minute late is late and you will, be, you will not be allowed in. Upon entering the program, you are expected to have your school issued computer to access your work, have your hard copy work readily available with materials to complete your assignments, silence your phones and leave them in your bag, know what work needs to be completed, be respectful by listening and using kind words to the adults in the program. If you have any questions or concerns regarding the attendance policy and the STAR attendance program, please see one of your amazing VPs. Mahalo. Hey Vikings. Thank you to everyone who came to the Health and Traffic Safety Fair on Wednesday. We hope you enjoyed it. If you came to the fair, please fill out the feedback form by scanning the QR code on the screen. It only takes 30 seconds and it helps us a lot in the future process. Furthermore, at the fair, every student who came was given a passport to fill out. And if the students got all the stamps, they were entered into a special winner giveaway. We are going to draw the winners. All the completed passports are in this box. The first prize was the Big Island candy gift basket that's the value of $200. The winner is Mia Sato. The next prize was two Southwest sweat bags, including $50 gift cards. The two winners of those were Jade Ivy and Maya Urbano Pepe. Finally, the last prize are the three Hilo High goodie bags. The three winners for those are Rodessa Balagot, Thomas Moon, and finally, Kian Chow. Congratulations to all of our winners. You guys can pick up your prizes in Miss Wedge's room A16 during recess and lunch today on Monday. Thank you again for coming to the fair. Bye, Bye Vikings. Vikings! Heads up! We will be holding our annual canned food drive from Tuesday, November 12th to Tuesday, November 26th. You can donate canned goods to those in need in front of room A16 during recess, lunch, or right after school. For every two cans you donate, you'll get a ticket to dunk a teacher or a student in our dunk take during lunch on November 27th. So donating cans is a great way to help others and have some fun at the same time. Remember to donate any day from the 12th to the 26th, right in front of A16 to help out our community and have some fun before Thanksgiving break at our dunk tank. Here's today's menu. Pro Wiki, sweet cinnamon, Belgian waffle with chicken tenders, and fresh fruit. For lunch, three bean chili with rice, steamed carrot, broccoli, fruit slushy, pineapple chunks, and a whole grain roll. Thanks for watching. Find more announcements and watch the bulletin again at hilohigh.org or download the mobile app. Follow Hilo High School on Instagram, Threat, and Facebook to see more of our content. This concludes today's announcement. Have a great day, Vikings!